Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alexios. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today, we got a really, really, really good sneaker review. But before we get into that, make sure to check out my last video about this hoodie from the Kith Fall 2020 collection. But now, let's get into it. So, this dropped on October 1st. There were not many places that dropped this. There was a sneakers app, which, I mean, can't trust it. But there was also some raffles going on, and I happened to win the local raffle at Concepts. So you're probably wondering what the shoe is. I mean, maybe not. But anyway, here it is. I think by the box, you probably know what this is. It's like reflecting. Look at that. <laughs> you got this really awesome box uh, that kind of looks like Swiss cheese. Nice inspiration, Virgil. Keep it up. You open it up. It looks like it's glowing. <laughs> you got this yellow print that says off-white on it. And we open up the box. I'm gonna put it down because this, this heavy. Here we have it the off white rubber dunk. So for me, I think the main thing I love about this is the materials used in it. When I heard the name Rubber Dunk, I didn't think they really meant like, yeah, we got rubber. So you've got like a rubber toe box here, which in all of these green outlines are all rubber. And it just looks really futuristic and cool and gives it a unique vibe that I really dig. For those of you who don't know, this is based on the Dunk Low. So it has that same midsole, but what Virgil actually did was he took inspiration from running shoes and like track shoes. And so the upper is completely different. So it's a really cool mashup of ideas. You've got like the off-white signatures. You got the zip tie with like felt or something on it. You've got the tag under the swoosh. You've got the off-white detailing on the side. I think this made in China tag thing is supposed to be an off-white signature. Tell me if I'm wrong. And the other shoe is the exact same, except it does not have this tag. But what it does have is it has these green laces, which I think could be a really, really cool change for this shoe. So it is worth noting that this wasn't the only rubber dunk that dropped, but it was the only rubber dunk that dropped in the Americas. In Europe and Africa and the Middle East, they got a silver and blue pair with a gum midsole, and in the Asias and Pacific region, they got a gold yellow pair with a black midsole. Honestly, I've seen people really trashing the other two. I kind of like them a bit more. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But these are the ones that stand out the most, that's for sure. One thing I was not prepared for was how thick this tongue is. All right, they stuck a bunch of paper in here. <laughs> Bro, I'm struggling to take this out. I'm, I'm really struggling. Like this is firmly in there. Firmly grasp it! We did it. So you've got this massive exposed tongue that it looks very comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this whole shoe, I just kind of get designer vibes with it, which I mean, it's Virgil, off-white Louis Vuitton. Makes sense. The one thing I'm not super crazy about is kind of the glossy finish on these side panels here. But then a nice detail to compensate for that is the suede on the heel tab and on the toe, which yes, 
you get that backstroke. Take a look at that. And now to the on foot section of the video that was recorded at a later date because it was raining today. Okay, so I threw them on feet for a second. I don't know why I snapped there. These look really good on foot. They look like I do not, I don't like green like that. <laughs> like I'm not the biggest green person, but these look sick. I, I've still been holding on my CPFM Black Air Force Ones, debating whether I wanted to resell them or keep them because I did want a black shoe with the bulk. Those are going. These need I say more. I think it just look it looks really really good on foot. These are going to be great for the fall, great for the winter. I could even see in the spring summer with some so high socks on and like these could be a year-round shoe. They're really comfortable and I think it's a great twist on the dunk. Comfort is there, true to size, definitely true to size. I have a slightly wide foot and they fit perfectly. Now, some of you are probably asking, are you gonna keep the hang tag on? Are you gonna cut it off? I'm not gonna cut it off because you could just get it off the laces. But I actually do think I will keep it on for a bit, see how I like it. But I also think it would look great without it. <laughs> it does complement the orange accent on the swoosh pretty well and you know, it makes people look at your shoes, which I think is something all sneakerheads strive for, let's be real. So let me know what you guys think about the Nike Off-White Rubber Dunk. I think it's awesome. Comment down below what you think, if you think it's trash, if you think anything. <laughs> I will say I kind of flip-flopped on it, but having it in hand, I can confirm it's really awesome. Prices right now are not insanely high. I think it's around 400 for this pair and the other pairs I saw were going for 350 to 400, something like that. But it is off white, so you can be sure it will go up in the future. So if you want a pair, better to get it sooner rather than later. Now, if I were to rate these out of 10, these right here, These get a nine in my book. I think the paneling and the way the accent color of the green is used is super unique, super refreshing, and I think this will be a great shoe for a long time to come. Now, I have a new way of reviewing my sneakers as well. Ooh. We're gonna title this segment Mama Says. Mama told me hey, not to sell work, Mama. So, what would your mother say if she saw you walking in these sneakers? What, do you, what would she say? I think my mom would have three words for me. What the f quack, quack. I raised you? Either of those three. <laughs> Stay tuned for more sneaker content as I will be having a review of the Yeezy 350 Carbons coming up soon. I'm excited for those. 
Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 50 subscribers. I think that's a good goal. If we can hit that, man, my confidence, it'll go through the roof. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. It's been Alexios. Love yourself. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!